Hello. Today we are going to talk about high stack circular life migration. In this video, you'll get a review of the interface and major operations to successfully migrate machines. Currently, you see the main page of the solution. It's a partners page. Here is a customer's list, but we'll get back to it a little bit later. And now I would like to pay your attention on the Manage Clouds button. To start the migration process, the solution must be connected to the target cloud. For these purposes, here is a Manage Clouds button. Click on it to get to the Target Clouds page. Before the migration begins, you need to register the target cloud. The solution checks that it can perform the necessary operations on it and migrate machines. Further, use this page to manage existing clouds. Here you can see that one cloud is already connected to the solution. Let's take a look how to add a new connection. First of all, select a cloud type. It is important because the cloud type influences on the set of basic parameters. Here is a wide variety of supported clouds to which you can migrate. When the cloud type is set, fill out the parameters that will allow the solution to get access to the cloud API and perform operations on the target cloud to replicate or migrate machine. When it is done, click Save. A newly created cloud will appear in the list of the target clouds. The connection to it will be checked by the solution and, if success, the cloud status will be set to validated. It means that the cloud is connected and ready. To do the next step, let's get back to the Partners page. The next step is to create a customer. A customer is a group of machines that has common target cloud. To create a customer, click on Add. Enter the company name, the contact email and fill out other fields. Let's take a look closer on the field Cloud. When you click on it, the list of the registered target clouds appears. Select the target cloud to which you want to migrate your machines. When all fields are filled in, save the client. A newly created customer will be in the list. Let's click on it to open customer page. Let's take a look at the Machines Groups section. It is one of the most important things here. Machines registered on this client and Machines Groups are listed here. The replication agent registers the machines after it is installed on the source cloud. The solution adds them to the list. Initially, new machines are in a discover status. The machines on the screen are in preparing status. It means that they are already being replicated. As soon as your machine is in the list, you can start the replication. To do this, Click Start Replication in the Actions menu. What's happening on replication? When the replication begins, target volumes are created on the target side. These volumes are identical to the volumes of the source machine. Data from the source machine volumes is being written to these volumes. As a result, on the target side, you'll get a complete binary copy of the volumes of the source machine. When the first full replication is completed, you can deploy replicated machine on the target platform to finish migration. Alternatively, virtual machine deployment procedure can be a part of a test migration. When instead of replicating all your machines, you replicate the one and check if the target virtual machine has deployed successfully. Has the size enough to start application and correct network configuration. In both cases, you need to generate a migration plan. Migration plan is a script according to which on the target cloud will be created virtual machines. It includes the list of machines, 
its IDs, flavors, network configuration, ports, subnets, and so on. Name the migration plan, and when it's done, save it to the library of the migration plans. This is Migration Plans Library. Newly created plans are added here. To start migration, execute your plan. To do this, highlight the plan and click Run Migration. The wizard appears on the screen. Specify a name. Select the restore point from which the machine on the target site will be started. It might be the latest restore point. But also, you have a chance to launch one more incremental replication before the start of the target machine. Note that for some types of source machines, there is an ability to on-off virtual machine on the source cloud during replication execution. For example, you can set power source machine off on replication start. The source machine will be off to stop any changes on it. If you want to replicate on machine, you can off it on replication finish. It's convenient when you migrate to overlapping networks. It allows to avoid conflicts between machine on the target cloud and machine on the source cloud. When you are ready, run migration. When the replication starts, the cloud site will be created. CloudSite is an executed migration plan. It is a group of machines launched on the target cloud from the restore points. Here you can see the information about restore point, status, and other information about machine. What can you do with the CloudSite? If it was a test migration and you wanted just to test to check machine behavior on the target cloud, then you can delete this cloud site using this button. This action deletes machines created on the target cloud and also cleans the resources, but restore points remain. You can proceed doing incremental replication, you can start new test migrations using new restore points, or you can deploy the machine to final Katova. In case, if you want to final Katova on the target cloud, use Action Detach. Application will forget about the machines deployed on the cloud site. The machines become completely independent and ready to work. When the machine is detached and migration is completed, delete the machine from the interface. To do it, go to the Machines Group section of the Customers page. And in the Actions menu, select Delete Machine. Thank you for your attention. I hope it was useful.